Hey there beautiful people, how are you? How are you doing? What's going on there? My name is Chris as always and in today's video we are going to see how to install the Ruby on Rails on Windows 10. The Ruby on Rails installation is a little bit tricky but we are going to see how to do this in no time so be with me and I will be happy to see the successful result ahead. First of all we need to know all the dependencies for our Ruby on Rails environment to work on. First of all, we will need to install the Node.js uh, as we will be reading it in the further projects and the second one is the git bash terminal that will help us to access the terminal of uh, that seems like it's from Linux but it will be on our windows and it will give us the flexibility to use the, the, the command line interface and we will, we will also install the SQLite um, and again lastly we will install the rays on itself. By using this setup we will be ready to go. Okay, without further ado and enough of talking, let's go ahead and go straight to the point. First of all, we will come here and I will write node.js to install the node.js. After you type that, I'm using Chrome, you can use any browser you want, it can depend on your favorite. So uh, the first link that we come with from node.js.org, I bet it is the proper one, go ahead and click on here and to bring up all the versions that are available and in this case i have this 14.17 lts and i have this 16.9.1 which is the current version uh, i like to go with the current one if there is no reason that can push you to the previous versions to avoid the errors but in this case i'm going to download this 16.9.1 Go ahead and press on here and to start to download click on start download depending on the speed of, of your internet that the download will take a while so let's wait for the for it to be done it's not that heavy and once it's done we are going to go ahead and press open to open this setup so we can install it in a little quick let's minimize this browser and to bring up this install wizard so we, go, we are going to go ahead and press next it will ask us to accept the license agreement so we go ahead and press accept press next it will show me the default folder i, I don't have any spirit to change that one if you, you will need to change it for any other reason you can change it but i like to leave the defaults go ahead and press next and to show you all the paths that you will uh, install and the this path which is very important go ahead and press next and uh this is for the the necessary tools go ahead and press next leave that unchecked and to really have to start the installation and there you go and as you can see now our setup is completed now so we are going we are going to go ahead and press on finish so you can check from now if our node is present on our PC or our system, we are going to go ahead and type node uh, hyphen hyphen version. And as you can see, we are now on 16.9.1 and we are successful installed that node. So uh, as I was uh, I was telling you, we are going to install also the, the, the git bash terminal. We are going to go ahead and type git bash terminal like this one and press enter. And the first link that will come is this one. Go ahead and press on it. It will bring this and the download button up front here. Go ahead and download this. It will start download. All right, cool. You're going to go ahead and press open to this. Uh, let's minimize again. So wait for a bit for the install to start. And to restart like this one and it is under new general public license go ahead and press next this is now the installation folder that is the default uh, i told you i like to leave the default go and press next it will bring all this here go ahead and press next and press next again and it is asking for our text editor i can choose my notepad i don't want to stress myself Go ahead and press next. Um, so let's go ahead and press next again. And press next. Next again. Next. Next. And the next again. Next. 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 And install. 
all right go ahead and uncheck this one of course we can launch this so check this and click finish and it will bring up the time like this one you can zoom by pressing ctrl shift plus uh so let me make this a little bit so you can use the linux terminal on here you can type pwd to print where you are working you can change the directory to where you want to go for example i want to go on my desktop uh i can make directory there and they call it uh ruby projects like this one i'm just testing and as you can see it is working very very smooth so the third thing that we're going to install is our SQLite 3. This is a pretty, 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 pretty tricky to install. So we're going to go on our Google Chrome again and type SQL right like this and press enter. Uh, it will bring this homepage for SQLite. Go and press on SQLite homepage. And to bring all these explanations, we don't want to go through that, but we can press on download. And you can see all the packages here for the pre-compiled pre binaries for Windows. There is this for 32 bits and for 64 bits. You can go ahead and choose this. And after it is now downloaded, you can go ahead and double click, open this one to a zip file. Uh, so we are going to drag all these files into our system32 location. So we are going to go ahead and go on local disk C. We go on Windows. We go on system32, which is located like right here. Go ahead and drag all these inside this folder. And it will ask us for um, our permission as administrator. Go ahead and press continue. And there we go. As you can see, our, our SQL right now is here. Okay, right, cool. So we are going to install the layers itself. So to install the layers, we are going to go ahead on our Chrome again, and we are going to type Ruby, Ruby installer, like this one. Go ahead and press enter. The first link that will come will be like this one. So go ahead and press on it. And to bring up this download button, let's go ahead and press on download. It will it will uh, show us this with with dev kit and without dev kit. We can um, choose this uh, with uh, dev kit. So go ahead and press on here, and to be like this one. Go ahead and press start download. We will wait for for the download to be done. All right, cool. So once our download is complete, we are going to go ahead and press open to open the setup. Let's minimize this. Wait for the install to start. All right, cool. So go ahead and accept the license and press next. It will bring this default path for our Ruby. Go ahead and press install. And to show us uh, all the components that is, it is going to install. So we're going to go ahead. It is now warning us for the space that it is going to occupy. So it is um, notifying us to be aware. So go ahead and press next. And so we are going to wait for the this instruction to be done. Okay. And when we reach here, we'll go ahead and press on finish to really have to install that one. So wait for a bit. So it is asking us to install that one. So we're going to choose um, the base installation. So we're going to go ahead uh, and press one. And okay, after now it is, this is properly installed, we can go ahead uh, and exit this one. Once all that is done, you're going to go ahead and open our command prompt. Let me close all this and open new one. So go ahead and type CMD in the run like this one. So after uh, we are going to, to type Ruby uh, like this one to check the version, drop the check the version like this one. And as you can see, TV is returning as this version. You can also check it for the game version. That is the package manager that will help us to install other things. And you can see we are having, we are having this one. So we're going to go ahead and type game install rares like this and type press enter and wait. 
All right, cool. And as you can see now, it is telling us that the, our 37 games installed and we are successful. We can go ahead and clear our screen like this one to have a clean workspace. And so the thing that we're going to do is to check if our Ruby uh, if our Ruby on Rails is now ready. Go ahead and type Rails hyphen hyphen version and to bring up this version. Let's see. It is bringing you now. It is, we have having latest 6.1.4.1. So we are going to go ahead and also install the SQLite. We have a type game install uh, SQLite 3. Go ahead and press enter. I write a typo here. Yeah, it is install, not install. Uh, it is install like this one. Press enter. All right, cool. We are now successful installing the YSQ right three. And as in addition, we can install our Heroku um, Turbert. Go on our Chrome and type Heroku. Heroku Turbert. And like this one, go on the first link that we will see here. You can go ahead and download and install. Uh, you can see there is for Mac and for Windows. I didn't want to, this video to be so long, so I will, I'm going to leave this so you can go ahead and install it. So we are going to check if our race is working. So to check if it is working, we are going to try to make one app. So we are going to type layers new and you can type the name of app or the file that you want to make as your project. And I will type Rails new and I will add my app and then press enter. It will bring all this one. Okay, and as we are trying to uh, to breed to breed our app, there is some uh, error here that is popping that is telling us that yarn is not installed. So we can go ahead and download it and install it real quick so as to be successful enough. I'm going to copy this link and I will go on my browser. I will type and we see how to install the yarn. And so I will, I will install using npm package so and uh, so let's check if we can go through this one and type like this one okay and we can check if our yarn is now installed by typing uh, yarn a uh, hyphen hyphen version let's go ahead and type yarn like version like this one there we go and now you are successful and that is basically how you can install ruby on rails on windows 10 if you met with any errors or any problem let me know in the comments i hope you guys will find this video very very interesting and very helpful enough so guys if you did like it go ahead and show it by pressing the like button and if you're coming on the channel for the first time and you find it interesting go ahead and subscribe and I can tell you that I will be making a lot of Ruby on Rails videos coming days. So stay in touch. Peace.